All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back, and uh, a few wines from Augustine. Well, Katie snuck one in here, so we threw that into Craig's review. The same company, Premier Augustine. You know, a lot of these big companies have got several little companies that help them market and sell different wines. Augustine, one of the better small distributors within a big distributor out there, and uh, Archery Summit. This was the wine Katie snuck in there uh, from Premier, one of the Premier producers, started by the late great Gary Andrus from Pine Ridge fame. And uh, this Premier Cuvée from the Willamette Valley is a blend of five different vineyard sites. A very inviting bouquet here, 2007, a, more of a savory style vintage, more of a Burgundian style vintage. And this wine had some smoky bacon fat, fresh earth, kind of exotic spices, that dark cherry and raspberry fruits. A good amount of that sweet fruit coming through on the palate as well, especially for a 2007 with a pretty floral nuance and a nice touch of spice and a savory finish. It's his 2007. Excellent Pinot Noir. That's what we expect from Archery Summits. All right, well then, uh, Domaine Pavlo, Savigny Le Bone 2008, a vintage that's not been... You know, quite as successful uh, on the shelf as we would like because it's a very good vintage from Burgundy. And uh, this wine had a lovely red raspberry and strawberry kind of fruit on the nose, a touch of mint, and a little fresh earth there. Mouth filling cranberry and strawberry fruit on the tongue, smooth and velvety texture, some light floral highlights, a real crowd pleaser here. Very good juice uh, for an entry level village Burgundy from Savigny Le Bon. Jacques Frederick Mounier. Uh, not uh, an entry-level wine here, the Nuit saint George Premier Cru Clos de Marchal, one of the great wines of Nuit saint George, one of the great producers of Burgundy. And uh, Freddie, you know, 2007 has been a little bit of a tough sell, though, man. I'll tell you what, the 2005 we're almost out of. This 2007 has this lovely kind of raspberry, wild strawberry fruit, a potpourri of floral and exotic spice, Really pretty bouquet here, light but lots of nuance. You know, these 07s are going to be drinking much earlier than uh, some other great vintages like uh, 05, which still probably needs quite a bit of time. I haven't had the 05 in a few uh, months here, but uh, very big, pretty wine, lots of zesty, savory spice, a ton of minerality here, and uh, light but elegant, but not light on the nuance and spice. Really excellent bottle of Nuit Saint George there. Next up, the 2007 JL Chave Saint. Joseph Offerus, 2007, a killer vintage in the Southern Rhone. This wine showing a lot of that black peppery spice nuance and a black cherry and black plum-like fruit. Notes of underbrush and garig there also showing on the nose. Nice concentration on the tongue. Smooth velvety tannins. A nice amount of acidity there, keeping things fresh to the finish. And that peppery spice and herbaceous and floral nuance showing through all the way to the end. Excellent. St. Joseph. And 2009, Masta Dumas Gassac from the Languedoc, one of the stars of the Languedoc. And hey, this is the guy that was featured in Mondovino, the old grumpy guy that didn't want the Mondavis to move into southern France because he didn't want to commercialize this area. Well, let me tell you, that's coming anyways, buddy. I'll bet there's a McDonald's there now. And uh, can't do anything about, you know, change. Uh, that's the only thing that's certain in life. And uh, this guy makes great wine, so I'd have to say absolutely mind-blowing stuff. A unique blend of 80% Cabernet Sauvignon, 7% Malbec, 6% Petit Verdot, 4% Pinot Noir, Syrah, Man, really exotic stuff on the nose. Really distinct kind of earthy character. Fine herbs and florals. That garigi quality that the south of France is so well known for. But this lovely currant and black cherry fruit you get from Cabernet Sauvignon. Some exotic Asian spices. A really big on the tongue too. Red and black fruit. And that distinct earthy nuance just showing through to the finish. And a really exotic spice there. Lovely acidity holding everything together. Most excellent juice. If you've never tried this wine, if you're a fan of wines from the south of France, it's probably on every three-star Michelin restaurant in France. A very well-known winery, Mas de Dumas Gossac. Great stuff. Thanks very much, Craig. And Katie, next up, we've got a few things that made their warehouse sale from Tanya at GOS.